जय हिंद जय भारत हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे फ्रेंड्स डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेज माय ग्रेट मदर लैंड एंड राइटली सो माय कंट्री शुड बी प्रेज आई कीप माय लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू सिंग इंडियाज प्रेजेस I keep my language English. There are two reasons for that. The first reason is India is a land of many languages, and the second reason is that I wish to explicate, expound, and exemplify the greatness of my motherland to each and every citizen. Once Albert Einstein said, Many modern scientific discoveries would not have been possible if Indians had not contributed. In fact, India was a land of seekers. Uh, we didn't believe in anything. We we didn't have any limits. We didn't create any boundaries. We didn't create any confinements. We used to observe na nature as it is, and. from those observed events we used to draw out conclusions so let's get to grips with the contributions findings and brass tacks of ancient india uh, believe me uh, these brass tacks and findings are the building blocks of modern science and the first one is uh, the idea of zero i hope everyone is familiar with this idea of zero uh, the symbol the symbol of zero was created by great a uh, great aryabhat uh, this one is decimal system this one is numeral notation there was a story there was a story behind this numeral notation uh, new, numeral notation is a number system that contains number numbers from 1 to 9 so these symbols were devised by indians and later on these symbols were adopted by arabs and arabs got so lewd and impressed with these symbols they called it the hind symbols uh later on centuries after centuries uh, these symbols were adopted by the western and they called it arab numerals so if you will look at these inventions idea of zero decimal system or uh, numeral uh, notations uh, this uh, this uh, this were jazzed up this were bigged up and which met possible to calculate which made it possible to calculate distances between two objects even the distances between two heavenly giant objects we could able to calculate the distance I remember a movie which I watched with my father the name of this movie is Purab Paschim starring Manoj Kumar I remember a song uh, two to three lines of song deta na dasamlab bharat ne to chand pe jana mushkil tha dharti aur chand ki ka andaaza ki duri ka andaaza lagana mushkil tha it was a great song and it was not only a song it was not merely a song but it uh, it creates reverberation in each and every indian uh, let's come to plastic surgery uh, there is a whole book on surgery um, uh, the the name of this book is shushruta samhita uh, which was written by great a uh, great rishi uh, shushrata shushru i beg my pardon and believe me uh, many uh, many of the researchers are taking help from this uh, this book uh, that's shushrata samhita now let's come to binary numbers i do hope most of you are familiar with this binary numbers uh, these are 0 uh, 1 so these numbers were first described in a book called chandra hastra that was written by great vedic scholar pingala let's come to atomic theory yes friend atomic theory uh, in fact uh, we know that the, uh, the atomic theory the master behind the atomic theory uh, is john dalton but even before john dalton this theory was devised 
and Rishi Kanadi was the man behind that one. And Rishi Kanadi, he was a man and he was lured with this proposition. Pr proposition. He was so much lured with this proposition that he devised his name as Kanadi. Kana is a Sanskrit word that means uh, tiny, that means uh, very small. So folks, right now what we call atom, uh, he stated it as Anu. Uh, uh, anu means that means very small and he also stated that Anu can be uh, at rest and in the state of motion. He further stated that uh, Anu of same substances that means atoms of same substances combined together in a synchro uh, synchronized or you can say in a specific manner uh, to form diatomic molecules and triatomic molecules. That's diatomic molecules uh, which, uh, which were called the Vyanuka and triatomic molecules uh, which were called Trianuka. Let's come to a heliocentric theory. Heliocentric theory. The man behind, uh, behind this theory was great Aryabhat. No other than. He was, uh, he, was, uh, uh, he, he was a man behind this heliocentric theory. Uh, he stated that earth is round and it rotates on its own axis and revolves around the sun. So folks, there are so many giants of modern India too. Uh, they, are, uh, they are C. B. Raman, S. C. Vos, uh, Great Abdul Kalam and many more giants. But for, uh, however, uh, for want of time, uh, their contributions are being skipped. For that, I cry you mercy. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Takshila. Thank you very much, friends.